right? Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halayim Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, by Shim Rakhar Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders that great millstone who taught us his truth. Honors and citations to also say I came throughout the four corners of the earth, laboring and honesty, sincerity, truth, and the sound doctrine. And to the Akwakim and the children that believe on the name of the Father and the Son. Who the Father's name is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Alright. Yahweh meaning he exists, Yahweh Shai, Salakia. Because he is the deliverer. Alright. And this is just a um a quick lesson to 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 a uh, brother that wanted to know about, you know, uh, basically the calendar and all that, because you got dudes that that say that um, every 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 Saturday or every Sunday is the Sabbath, you know. And if you're saying that, you're going off because you're going by uh, it's a lot. You're going by this Gregorian calendar, which you have a couple calendars, man. But let's let's just get right into it. Uh, it's an article I brought up, while well, I looked up, and it's called uh, "A History of the Months and the Meanings of Their Names." All right, so if you want to know anything, you got to do the history on it. All right, so we want to know the history on the months of the year. All right, let's read it. It says a history of the months. Matter of fact, we can go. I'm gonna just start. It says a history of the months. January Janus month, February month of Febria, Febria. It says enter Cali Cali Calarius, enter calendar month, March Mars month, April Aphrodite Aphrodite's month, May is Maya's month, June Juno's month, July is Julius Caesar's month, August is Augustus Caesar's month. September the 7th month, October the 8th month, November the 9th month, and December the 10th month. Alright? So it says, uh, we're going to read the quick history, and I got some scriptures I'm going to bring out. Lord's world don't be that long. Lord's world be edifying. But it says, the history of the months. The original Roman, the, the original Roman year had 10, ten named months. Alright, Mar Martius, Mar March, Aprilis, April, Mayers. Uh, May, June is June, uh, Qu Quintilis, July, Sextilis, August, September, September, October, October, November, November, December, December, and probably, uh, probably two, two unnamed, um, months in the dead of winter, when not much happened in agriculture. The year began in Martius, which is March. Numo Populius, the second king of Rome, Cicero, Cicero, C-I-R-C-A, 700 B.C., added the two months, January, January, and February, 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 February. He also moved the beginning of the year from March to, to January, and changed... <coughs> And change the number of days in several months to to uh to be odd and lucky number. In February, February, there there was actually Salaki occasionally an additional month in intercalias intercalendar. This is the original Salaki. This is the origin of the leap year. Day beginning February in uh 46 BC, which is before the Common Era. Julius Caesar says BC don't mean before Christ. That just means before Common Era, man. All right. So Julius Caesar reformed the Roman calendar, hence the Julian calendar, changing the number of days and the months in Salakia in many months, and removing intercalarius. January, Janus month, Middle English, January, Latin, January, uh, you know, I ain't gonna read all that. 
that you get to understand and Jan Januus is the is a is the Roman god okay because all these go back to different gods <clears throat> Janus is the Roman god of gates and doorways depicted with two faces looking in opposite directions his festival his festival month is January January Rarius had 29 days until Julius when it became 31 days long all right you got February month of February uh let's go all right it says um minutes month of February Latin dies for good days of uh, purification it says February had 28 days until CIRCA 450 BC when it had 223 or 24 days on some other on some of every second year until Julius when it had 29 days <clears throat> on every fourth year and 28 days otherwise February is the Roman festival of purification held held on February 15th it is possible of what's that Sabrine origin. All right, here we go. Intercalius, intercalendar month, Latin intercalendus, cal calius, intercalaris, intercalendar. Popular name. All right, let's go. March. Hold up. Intercalius had twenty-seven days until the month was abolished by Julius. So that's that Julius Caesar. So that month, that that whole thing got uh abolished, man. So you can't tell me that that this, these calendars that we go by now that they accurate. But you got Israelites that go by that, man. You know. All right, March was Mars month. Uh, let's go now. It says Middle English March. Anglo French March, Old English Martius, Latin Martius, or, or of Mars. And it all started with M A R, so Latin Martius, so you get the gist of it. So Martius has has always had 31 days. March was the original beginning of the year and the time of the uh, resumption, resumption of war. Mars is the Roman god of war. He is identified with the Greek god Ares. All right, so you got April. Um, so they just admitting right there that Mars, I mean Salaka, that March is was was the first was the first um, month of the year, and then they changed it to January. But we gonna get into them scriptures, man. All right, it says um. This is April, Aphrodite month. Greek, Afro, short short for Aphrodite. Aprilis had thirty days until Numa, when it had twenty nine days until Julius, when it became thirty days long. Aphrodite is the Greek goddess of love and beauty. She is identified with the Roman goddess Venus. Okay, May is Mayari, May Mayaris month. If I'm pronouncing it correctly, M A I Mayas, Mayas month. May is Mayas month. All right, um, jump down. It says Mayaris has always had 31 days. Maya meaning the great one. Is the Italic goddess of spring, the daughter of Phanuus, and the wife of Vul Vul Vulcan, Vul Vulcan, June, Juno's month. All right, so yo, all these months, man, that's how that's how uh, Esau does it, man. And you niggas going through the calendar and all that, you 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 representing his gods, man. When you going by these calendars, man, we don't go by that shit. We Israelites, man. And you gotta know the truth, yo. You know, even even the days of the week. Matter of fact, I think I'll do a lesson about that. 
next Lord's will. But um, July, uh, we did Juno, right? Oh, Salaki, Salaki, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. June is Juno's month. Uh, let's read it. Uh, June, Junus, Junius had 30 days until Numa when it had 29 days until Julius when it became 30 days long. 30 days long. Juno was the principal goddess of the Roman uh, Parthenon. She is, she is the goddess of marriage. <laughs> A lot of motherfuckers get married around there. She is the goddess of marriage and the well-being of woman. She is the wife and sister of Jupiter. She is identified with the Greek goddess Hera. July, Julius, Julius Caesar's month. All right. Quintilus and later Julius has always had 31 days. Julius Caesar reformed the Roman calendar, hence the Julian calendar, okay, in 46 BC. In the process, he named this month after himself. All right, you see that shit? So don't that go back with their name names? They name things after themselves, lands and all that. They even name the goddamn month after themselves, man. All right, this is August. August Augustus Caesar's month. <clears throat> Latin sextilius minus minuses six month. Sextilius had 30 days until Numa when it had 29 days until Julius when it became 31 days long. Augustus Caesar clarified and completed the calendar reform of Julius Caesar. In the process, he also renamed this month after himself. September, the seventh month. All right. That's, that's basically. All right. September had 30 days until Numa. When it had 29 days until Julius, when it, when it became 30 days long. October, the eighth month, you know, an octagon. What does an octagon have? It has eight sides. All right? So that's clear. It says octo, eight. Latin, October, minus eighth month. October has always had 31 days. November, ninth month. Latin, no, no, November, minus ninth month. November's had 30 days until Numa when it had the 29 day, days until Julius when it became 30 days long. All right. Uh, let's go to December, the 10th month. Okay, so these are 10 months, man. Latin, Decim, 10, Decim. All right, Burr. It said Decim, 10, Burr. All right. December had 30 days until Numa when it had 29 days until Julius when it became 31 days long. These sources are somewhat inconsistent. I have chosen an inter, inter interpretations that are predominant among sources. All right, so they, they trying to throw you off right there, but that is the truth. All right. So uh, let's um, hop into these scriptures. But you see how they they, they uh, uh, change a whole lot of shit, all right? And um, let's get it, man. This the book of um, Salaki. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seventeen, verse three. All right, it says, "And have gone and served other gods." And worship them, either the sun or moon, or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded. So, yo, all a lot of those months, like you had Mars, right? They they named months after uh, Mars. That was March, the, the uh, Roman god of war. Uh, you got June, the Jupiter, and all that shit. So these niggas serving these calendars and believing these calendars is, is the truth. Guess what you're doing? You representing that 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 uh, uh uh calendar, so you actually serving those gods, man, are not even knowing it, man, and that's how Esau does does things, man. It gets you uh subconsciously, 
You know what I'm saying? They're, they're slick bastards, man. Esau is slick as shit. You know? Uh, this is uh, Psalms 104 and 19. It says he appointed the moon for seasons. The sun know of his know, know of his going. So what? Where's the moon? It says the moon is for seasons, man. All right? Which takes me to Genesis 1 and 14. Because they going by what, what, what man said, right? This is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said. And it has nothing to do with, with our old Julius Caesar's month. Uh, uh, Augustus. Augustus Caesar. All right, because yeah, that, that, and what I was reading was the Julius calendar. Then you have a thing called the Gregorian calendar, which you can look it up for yourself. You know, and now it said they, they only had what? 10, 10, 10 months in a year, but now it's 12, and everybody accepts that. And don't, and don't, and don't ask no questions about it. You know, you're not supposed to take a man's word for nothing. Don't even take my word. You go research it yourself, man. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor and find out a hidden thing, you know? All right? So when your neighbor is your brother, man. But uh, this is uh, Genesis 1 and 14. It says, And the Most High said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons. As for days and years, it said nothing about, yo, this Julian calendar, you know what I'm saying? This is the month of August. No, man, you read through the scriptures and it, and it gives you the, the months and all that. And they even admitted, you know what I'm saying, that that um the month actually starts, in, the, the year actually starts in March, man. They know that, man, because that's when things are starting to blossom, come back to life. How the hell are you going to start a... Um, uh, uh, a year in the dead of winter, man. When shit is dying, man. I don't even make no sense, man. But this is Daniel chapter seven, verse twenty-five. It says, "And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, which Esau is doing now, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times." And the dividing of time. So guess what, yo? Esau, this is your time to do all those things. Because what you do, just reading just from that calendar, you change uh, uh, you change times and laws, man. You know, you wear out the saints with, the, with these jobs, man. You know? You try to kill a nigga with these jobs, man. You have a nigga work uh, from, from uh, let's say... 4 to 11 or whatever Then you gotta be back to work at 6 in the morning 7 in the morning So how much rest do you get Then you got dudes working 7 days a week 6 days a week man And still ain't making no fucking real money man Even though all this money is fake any goddamn way man You know Giving people false, false sense of bias Let's read that again man It says and he speak, this is Daniel <clears throat> chapter 7 verse 25. It says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. So who's that talking about? He wearing out the Israelites. And on top of that, he wearing out his own people. Why? Because Esau don't even care about himself. Wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. So they change the laws. Look what they're doing. Homosexuality is looked down upon in the Bible. What they do, they make that shit. Uh, 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 um, it's, it's cool now. They got laws that help these motherfuckers out and against pedophiles and all that, man. To protect those niggas, man. So you think that's righteous? You think your howl by Shimmy is happy with all that, man? But check this out. It says, uh, and to think to change times and laws, and they shall give into his hands, Salaki. And laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times, and the dividing of times. So guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahushua letting this thing go down. All right, until 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 he come back and jack shit up. But I'm gonna end it on this one, man. Uh, it's the Book of James, Salah, chapter one, verse eight. 
It says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. Okay? So what is Esau? A double-minded man. And then you could just go looking at the little calendar. How, uh, how double-minded and unstable he is. Because he can't even get the goddamn days right. And they always change this shit. You know? And with that, I hope that this lesson was out of fine, man. I hope it reaches to who it has to go to. To younger brothers just coming in. You know, they're just, they're just really learning. You know? And uh, with that, man, it's no, no more to say. With that, man, I'm going to say Shalom.